but Liam and Steffi have visits from Bill and Katie Carr, baby. Okay. And Bill was apologizing, and I was like, listen, why are y'all doing this to me? Because Bill needs to be with Steffi. That is hot. This is something I want to see. Liam and Steffi, this is like, I've seen that before. Like, I've seen that thing. I don't miss it. Just give me a break. We deserve it. We deserve it, y'all. Hi guys, this is the Bold and the Beautiful Review. Hello. Thomas, 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 Thomas. He's obsessed. Obsessed with hope. I don't know why. She got nothing special, but okay. He's alive. He's alive. That's what he thinks. But that's the sickness, my dear. That's the sickness. So. I'm going to start with the beginning. So I guess it's like three episodes in one. I'm guessing. Three, four. I don't know. So Thomas confronted Flo. Flo admitted everything. And he left to go to Steffi's house. And he talked to Steffi. He was saying things like, well, girls, I got to talk to you about your family. And there's something going on. It's about the Phoebe. Well, the uh, fake Phoebe, pardon me, and Liam, and Hope, and stuff is just like Hope in it too. What's going on? <laughs> Tell me about it. But then Liam left, well, came in the room with Phoebe, okay, the fake Phoebe. And Thomas was like, oh, let me just stay quiet now. Okay, look at them being a family. Oh, they got the, the, their American dream. They playing daddy and mommy with two girls. Ooh, I just, you know, I can't do this to my sister. You know, I'm thinking about my sister. It has nothing to do with me and what's better for me and uh, all, all the things that I want in life, like uh, <clears throat> hope and a family with hope and, you know. No, 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 it's all about my sister. I can't do this to her, so I'm going to stay quiet. Shh. Lies he tells himself, okay? So then he uh, went to the office because he told Flo, uh, Zoe, and Xander that they had to meet him at, uh, in the office. So he went there and he told them, listen guys, Xander, I don't know, for some reason, Xander thought that um, Thomas told the truth, told, told Steffi or Hope the truth. I was like, Xander, please, you seen this crazy man, he's not about to tell the truth. Hell to the no no. So anyways, Thomas was like, listen guys, um, I made an executive decision. Y'all are gonna stay quiet. Y'all are not gonna say a thing. Flo was just like, well, this is unfair. Like, this is Hope's baby. I'm like, Flo, if you want Hope to know the truth, you can always pick up the phone or go see her now that you're a Logan. Come on, girl. Like, this is not like you don't have access to uh, uh, Hope. You do have access to Hope. You see her all the time. And if you don't know her number, ask Eric. Or the maid. I'm pretty sure everybody knows where, where to find Hope. Or go to the office. Actually, you're in the office, girl. So wait for Hope to come back. At some point, go to the office and work. Because a bitch got to work. When's the last time? Anyways, whatever. So Flo, she doesn't get, I, I, I get, I, I give her no sympathy, sorry. Okay, then we have Zoe being like, well, <laughs> if you don't want me to tell, I mean, okay then. I mean, I had no problems because I was not fixing to go to jail for something that my daddy did. <laughs> I was, mm -mm, I was unwilling. So if you telling me that I gotta, shh, <laughs> I mean, if I got to, you know, Zeta's just like, what the hell is going on? No, no hell to the no, no. And Thomas was like, listen, Zoe, you, you're going to go to prison and you don't want to do that. And if y'all are not listening to what I'm saying, if you don't do what I say, well, y'all are both going to go to jail. Okay. Y'all are going to go to prison. And after you leave, you get out of prison. Well, you know what? I will make sure that you, your life is 
ruined, okay? Ruined, even after prison. Actually, as soon as you left prison, your life is ruined, okay? You can't get a job, like this is the hardest thing. Anyways, so I will make sure that your life is destroyed. They are gonna, your lives are gonna be destroyed. So you have Zoe being like, ooh, quivering. And uh, Flo, um, he's, t he's telling Flo that, you know what, you got a boyfriend now. You got Wyatt. <laughs> Listen, he gonna hate you once he finds out about this. Do you really wanna risk it all for hope? You know your blood? No, you don't. And Xander, think about your girlfriend. And if you don't care about your girlfriend, that's all right, because, um, you're gonna wish you went to prison. I was like, oh no, Thomas, who do you think you are? He's talking about how he's the future of Forrester. And if y'all, um, if you follow his uh, orders, then you can get, uh, uh, um, I don't know, he'll give them something. I mean, I think they should have been played it smarter. Instead of appearing scared, they should have been like, I don't give a damn. Flo should have been like, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping it a secret. I might as well make a profit. Zoe too. Xander too. I mean, if you're gonna keep quiet, might as well get yourself some dollars out of this. But hey, they're just quivering. <laughs> and uh, Xander had to agree because he said, for oh, Zoe, I will do it for Zoe. No, boo-boo, you were pooping your pants. That's what happened. You were like, oh, he's serious and I'm scared. I'm just a young kid trying to make it. <laughs> and this is a forester child and he is entitled, so privileged. And <laughs> I'm just a kid from England. Let's on. I cannot do this. <laughs> so Thomas was happy with this. He went to see um, Hope and Hope had a conversation with mommy and um, Brooke was telling her, I don't, I'm not too sure what they were talking about. Like they needed to go somewhere and Hope was like, uh, I don't have a date or I, I don't, I don't really remember. But Brooke said, you know, you can't come with or without a date. And Douglas was like, oh, well, I can't be your date, Hope. Sorry. And Hope was like, why? And <laughs> Douglas was like, well, I can't date a married lady. Everybody knows you can't date a married lady. And I was like, Douglas, tell your daddy. Tell your daddy. Cause he did not learn that. You're five years old and you know better than him. Ooh, child. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> and Douglas was like, well, I haven't seen Liam in a while. What's going on? What's going on? And I was like, you know, he had to leave cause you know, he's gonna be a daddy to his two beautiful girls. And Douglas was like, oh girl, you sad. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Brooke is watching all this scene and she's like, God damn, I told this baby girl she needed to stay with Liam, but no, she gave him away. Ooh, no, 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 no. That's against the Logan rules. Mm, whatever. So then Douglas was being cute. He found some flowers. I don't know. I think maybe it was in the house, in the main house. I don't know, but he found those flowers and he was like, where? I saw some flowers. He was hiding those flowers behind his bag and all. I found some flowers. I found something that could make you like happy, make you smile. So here are all the flowers that I did not pay for. <laughs> but I'm fine, so you're gonna forgive me. Right. And I was just so happy. They hugged, and Thomas walked in, and he was like, mm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. I like this. Yes, I like this. And Brooke was just like, you know, don't worry about the flowers. My flowers, I'm good. And I see what you're saying. I see it too, but boy, boy, I got my eyes on you. I could feel that Brooke was just, you know, she's, She's, she's not being obvious, but she knows what's going on, okay? She's been looking at the situation and she's like, mm, I'm old enough to know, okay? I, I'm the queen of tricks, okay? So I know. So then I think it's, I don't know if it's another day. Yeah, I think it was another day. So the next day, 
Brooke and Hope had another talk, and this time, Brooke was just like, baby girl, listen to me. I know life. I've been alive a long time, but love, love, long time. So listen to me, baby girl, okay? A man who's willing to be there for you during the bad moments, he's gonna bring some more to your dough, okay? Actually, I don't feel like Brooke is right about this, you know, like a man that does, I feel like a man that is there for you during the bad moments, usually he's not expecting friendship, okay, he's looking for mo. that I would agree with, but in this case, with Thomas, a baby, Brooke is right, okay, mm, Thomas is there to just make you go through it, but, um, Hope was stuck with being naive. You know what with Hope? Somebody, so, somebody gotta do something with Hope cause she's looking like, she's not looking cute. You know, like for someone that's Hope Logan and that's working in a fashion house and she's super rich and she's young and famous and everything. Why is she looking like this? Like she's looking like life is hard. I know life is hard right now, but she, she always looked like life is hard. If you look at her fashion sense, I'm like, mm, okay? And I cannot understand a man trying to be with her personality. Her personality is just, mm, yeah. Um, her looks is just, yeah. She got nothing going except that she's rich. But if you're a rich guy and she's a rich woman, I mean, who cares? Now, if you're broke, I could see why you would see some value. <laughs> Anyways, so Hope is just trying to make it seem like she doesn't understand or Thomas is not in in love in love and like Brooke was just like baby girl don't play the virgin girl okay you've you, you, you know you know when a man likes you okay don't play with me so um Hope had to admit that, yeah, okay, Thomas has feelings, but she's not ready for all of this. And I'm like, you better tell Thomas, okay? Anyways, you can tell him he's not going to listen because he really wants you to move on. That's why he deleted the picture. Ooh, wait a minute. Let me tell you. <clears throat> okay, so the day that the annulment happened, <laughs> Hope went to um, Brooke's house. And Brooke, of course, was discussing... Um, discussing the the, the, the the situation between uh, Hope, Liam, and Staffy with Ridge. <sighs> what a bore. Anyways, Hope was there, and she was like, you know what, I'm moving on, you know, it's okay, I'm happy with my decision, and I hope Liam is uh, happy with Staffy. I hope that they just, they get everything that they want, they become a family and everything. Well, actually, I already know that he is uh, he has moved in because Thomas told me real quick, okay? He wanted me to know that my man moved on. Well, my ex-man, because he's no longer my man, because I gave him away. He moved on quickly <clears throat> with the second choice. And I'm being shady with Steffi because I don't care anymore, okay? Steffi, you know, you know what that man is, okay? He's been doing this to you. <laughs> and you accept being... You, you don't mind being the second choice, so I will call you second choice. Right? Okay. So, um, to prove that she's moving on and she's happy and that's what she wanted Liam to be with Steffi, she calls Liam. Liam is busy playing daddy, okay? Well, being daddy, because he is a father. But, anyways. So, Hope calls Liam. Liam is just, oh my God. Hope is calling. Hello, baby girl, what's up? How you doing? And I was just like, I'm doing all right. I mean, I heard the news, you moved in. I'm happy <laughs> for you. And you. I mean, can I ask you a favor? Listen, I would need some pictures of you and the girls. That would really help me move on and that would uh, make me happy and whatever. And Liam was like, yes, yes, okay. I was like so upset. Oh, I was upset. Because I feel like Liam's reaction is not the proper one. 
the bitch asks you for a divorce well an annulment okay so basically your marriage never happened <laughs> unlike Steffi Steffi is just not the kind of girl to be like let's annul our marriage she's like let's go through the divorce because our marriage did happen and I did love you and it was a potent it was not the nothing nothing but that's not what Hope did she went through the annulment so basically she never got married that was a mistake anyway so my opinion is Liam should have been like listen no actually he should not have even try to pick it up like pick up like take that phone call for what okay we just broke up I I need space but no he picked up the phone he was real excited like giddy, 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 giddy. okay and um she's expressing to you that she's happy that you with this your your second choice and all and then she asked you for pictures of you and your baby girls like what you should have said is baby and she said oh from i i um I, oh, I forgot what she said but something about like you know i'm on the pictures because you know i'm auntie hope or something and i was like girl auntie who auntie who who no 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 you don't get that title anymore well i guess yeah she kind of is auntie because of brooke you know if you're gonna be like a good family and be united you can call her auntie hope but you don't need to call liam for this okay you don't you, now you need to go through Steffi, okay because you should not be speaking to liam anyways i feel like that's that should be liam's reaction he should have been like hey listen i'm moving on and those are my children I, I, you're no longer my responsibility, baby girl. You don't get to call me. You, I don't need your approval for what I do, number uno. Number dos, these are my children. You're not part of this little, my immediate family anymore, right? You can't have uh, the privileges of the stepmama who gets to see the girls every day and get special stuff. No, 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 no. You're like everybody else, okay? You divorced, well, you got our marriage annulled just because, by the way, just because, because you can carry children. You can, we could have paid a surrogate. We could have adopted. There's so many orphans in the world. We're rich enough for this. But no, you want to play mommy to Douglas, okay? And you leaving me out of the picture. Okay, cool. Go ahead, girl. Go, go ahead. But don't call me. And then talking about, oh, that would make me feel better. <laughs> so, none of my business. Not my responsibility. You're not my wife no more. And these are my children. Okay? And please don't call. Bye. I feel like the nerve of breaking my heart <laughs> and then calling me and asking me for a favor. No, no, I don't think so. And I think that Steffi should be acting the same way with, um, with um, Liam and tell him, baby boy, you don't get to come in here. And if you wish to, to come back with me and be, you know, be back with me, let's get back together, let's be a family, boy, you're gonna have to work for me to get to me. <laughs> I'm Steffi Forrester, CEO, B-O-S-S, -S, boss. You got to work for me. But no, she's just inviting him back in. That's it. You don't have to work for me. Who am I? I ain't worth shit. I am second choice. That's why I'm upset. This whole thing is just like, oh, no. Okay? And I kind of wish, mm, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So what we got next, okay? It's Flo. Flo and Wyatt spending time together, being happy. Um, meanwhile, I think, um, what's, Liam and Steffi had visits from Bill and Katie Carr, baby, okay? And Bill was apologizing and I was like, listen, why are y'all doing this to me? Cause Bill needs to be with Steffi, that is hot. This is something I wanna see. Liam and Steffi, this is like, I've seen that 
the fall like I've seen that thing I don't miss it just give me a break we deserve it we deserve it y'all but anyways they're not getting back together he's stuck with Katie crybaby good luck to you boo I can't wait for Bill to get back to being Bill but not today it looks like not today mm, whatever so um, he apologized, Bill apologized, and they left. And Steffi talked to um, Liam, well, told Liam, well, maybe we should have invited them to the picnic that we're about to have with the girls. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Liam was like, well, um, talking about inviting people, well, um, while you are asking me, you thought of asking me for permission before inviting or thinking of inviting somebody well I took the liberty <laughs> to invite uh, my brother and his uh, new girlfriend sort of girlfriend yes um, Phoebe's adopted mommy <laughs> yes <laughs> yes and you could see that um, Steffi was not comfortable with that at all she was like um i don't think so i don't mm, i don't ooh, no ooh. i don't think it's a good idea because flo has stayed away and normally um adopted parents like it that way when birth parents are not close by they can welcome the birth parents uh having a relationship with the kid but because you always have this fear of the mother coming in and being like that's my kid and I want that kid back real quick and the power of blood the DNA there's a fear and it's normal and the fact that uh, Liam didn't even think of that just pisses me off and another thing that upsets me is um Steffi's reaction she should have been like listen bro you're in my house <laughs> okay I invited you you are our guest when you make a decision well actually you should be making decision period you should be talking to me okay before you invite people in my house okay before you invite people like that you should be asking me for permission and you should have been thoughtful of my situation I adopted fake Phoebe right I me I adopted fake Phoebe you in the picture cuz right now you don't have a woman okay so you here but you don't make decisions you are you haven't worked oh, excuse me earned the right to be making those type of decisions in my life okay especially when you know the situation I just adopted this kid it just happened a few months ago you invited the birth mother without thinking of me like come on have some respect have some decency like you knew this was not something that should have been done without talking to me because you we can see um what's his name Wyatt and Liam when finally the two girls well Flo and Steffi are meeting and talking and everything they're like everything no, 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 we should have had a conversation. And the same goes with, with Flo. Flo should have been like, I think that's disrespectful. I, uh, you know, I'm not expecting her to just go in like I expected Steffi to do, okay? I'm not expecting that from Flo because this is a new relationship and this is like someone that you really want to be with. But you should have said something. You should have said, listen, that's not cool what you did. I can't believe you would do that to me. Like, this is not something that you planned without me knowing. Actually, before it came out of your mouth that, yes, we're gonna go to the beach, you should have been like, listen, let me talk to my girl first and we gonna see. That's not what you did. And that's not disrespectful. <clears throat> but that's not what she did. She was just a bit surprised. She was like, I, 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 but why? I mean, I don't, uh, listen, I, I thought it would be just us two and um why was like I thought this was gonna be a good idea why how could you possibly think this would be a good idea I don't understand it 
if you couldn't have possibly thought that because she just gave birth so a woman who gave birth to a baby which she don't look like she gave birth okay she's beach body ready hmm hmm I don't know I don't know no scars no nothing whatever so she recently gave birth so she, and it's hard to give up your own child it's hard I imagine it's hard so she had to do that and then she found out that she's a Logan so basically it's she's a Logan and she can now she's living in a huge house and she got family that got money and that could actually give her money if she needed which means she could have provided for her daughter <laughs> okay so now she's feeling a lot of things right now okay I could have provided for my daughter because now I I, I, I I get I'm gonna get opportunities just because I'm a Logan okay I'm privileged now I was a broke bitch back then uh, a few months ago but now I'm, I'm about to be rich I can easily get access to good stuff okay so I didn't have to give up my daughter but I already did give up my daughter and it's like seeing her after all these months it's, it might be something for me it might not be something I'm ready to do and for him to just sprung this out on her and nothing nothing of it or try to make it seem like it's good for you no it's not and that was mad disrespectful and I, I was disappointed anyway so the two girls met Flo and um, well the, the four of them actually they met in the house in the Spencer house where Steffi lives in and Steffi was gracious enough to offer uh, Flo to see fake Phoebe and she was like yes yes I want to see her and I'm like those two boys Liam and Wyatt I don't understand I don't understand but meanwhile, we have Thomas still being crazy, and he told Hope, I'm, I'm crazy, I'm crazy about you. And I was like, oh girl, this is the one time he told you the truth. So he called Hope, and he was like, girl, baby, girl, baby, girl, you need to come to work. You need to come to the office. And Hope was just like, eh, hey, is it an emergency? Is it like important? And Hope, um, Thomas was like, well, if I tell you this is important, will you come? So, Hope was just like, well, that, that must be important. I mean, that just means it's not important. If someone tells you, do I have to tell you that it is important? That means it's not important. He's trying to figure out a way to make you come here. Whatever. So, the emergency was Thomas made a dress. Especially for hope or hope for the future, I'm guessing. Anyways, it's a prototype, girl. And Hope was just like, oh, I'm kind of prototype. Okay, so we're waiting for the model? And Thomas was like, no, baby, you're the model because I want to see you. I want to see you. And Hope was just like, okay, I will try it on. And she tries it on. <sighs> Y'all, this dress was awful. I mean, my opinion. I just, I, I mean, I shouldn't say the dress was awful, but it was just awful on her. I don't, I, I, I don't, I was just like, oh, Lord, I'm mercy. And she's looking at herself in the mirror. And Thomas is looking at her like, ooh, my baby, my baby. And Hope is just so happy. Well, like, happy, sad, because she's still thinking, you know, she's still going through it. And she turns around, and they're talking a little bit, and, and He's like, you know, um, look at you, you got so much to look forward to, whatever, blah, 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 Thomas. And Herb is just like, I don't know how to thank you. And Thomas is like, ah, oh, I know, I, I know, <laughs> I'm not wasting that opportunity. So he plans a kiss on her, and she does not refuse him. She does not push him away. But she then tells him, you know, I am not ready for a relationship. I am not ready. It's too early for me. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. That that's just B and B, y'all. Okay. Um. Read, comment, and subscribe. I have other videos coming up. Well, actually, the one is already up. Um. So you got 
that to look forward to. And oh, please click the bell so you don't miss any videos. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do. Y'all know what to do.